baby waiting some time we have a half hour until launch till we can go to the viewing site four hours till launch PLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Atlanta OTC, the station is waiting for spare parts, and Nicole is waiting for a trip home, so we won't keep you here any longer. Have a great ride to orbit and a fantastic mission. Hold on, we're waiting to Renee. Oh. <laughs> All right, here's Ducky. It's that was orbiter Please. test conductor Jeff Laufer from the United Space Alliance. Clear. No unexpected errors. I copy. In Atlantis, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. Close advisors. Initiating O2 flow. The fuel cells now on internal. Suppression water system now being armed for release. Confirmation we have three main engines ready for ignition. Space shuttle now on internal power. Oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Solar rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. And the handoff to Atlantis's onboard computers. Atlantis now in control of the countdown. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Okay, throttling the engines back to 100. Go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin, seated down on the mid deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlanta's 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 30 